What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a really useful tool for Windows that helps you remove backgrounds with just one click. If you want to remove backgrounds from images, you can, of course, search maybe something on Google Images, head to Tools, Color, and choose Transparent to get images without backgrounds as such. But if you want to separate something from a background, you'll need to use a different tool. So I'll take this first image here and save it to my PC. One of the simplest ways is to find an online tool, such as the Adobe Background Remover, where we can simply upload our photo as such. And I think you may need an account to download it, but there are thousands of different services that offer similar functionality. Cool. But what about something local and preferably command line based so we can automate things with scripts, Python, etc. Well, that tool exists and it's open source and it's actually really, really powerful. It's called RemBG. You'll find this linked in the description down below. In order to use this, all you need is Python installed somewhere above Python 3.7 and below Python 3.11. If you haven't already got Python installed, search for Download Python. And when you get to this page here, instead of just downloading it, scroll down and select 3.10 here, the latest 3.10 version download, scroll down and choose how you're going to run it. In my case, I'll be using Windows 64. Save it and open it. Then when the installer is running, just make sure to select add Python exe to path at the bottom. That's a very important then install. Right. So now that we have Python installed, we can go ahead and install RemBG. There's two options here. One is CPU only and the other one is GPU support. GPU will of course be a lot faster, but you'll need to see if your PC supports the Onyx runtime. You can head here, scrolling down here. I'm using Windows, Python, I'm on 64-bit and I have CUDA installed. In this case, it'll install and work properly. 32-bit, unfortunately, this wouldn't work for you with GPU acceleration. Anyways, all we need to do now is run either the rembg install command or the rembg gpu command. So hit start, open up terminal on Windows 11, otherwise command prompt on Windows 10 and run it as admin. Now paste in the pip install rembg command with or without GPU and hit enter. Now you'll need to wait for it to finish installing. And when it's done, we should be able to run rembg as such, and we should get a response in just a moment. There we go. So we can use I for an input file, P as an input folder, and S for an HTTP server. I actually haven't tried the server yet. Let's see what that does. I'll open it up. So localhost 5000. Ah, I see. It's an API thing. All right. Never mind with that. Let's go ahead and test this with an image. So I'll change to my downloads folder where we have image.jpg, which is the picture that we downloaded from the internet. That's over here. What we need to do is run rembg i for input, followed by the name of the file, preferably in quotes. So I'll type in im and hit tab as it's just image.jpg. Then we need to create an output file. So I'll call it image.jpg, but now changing it to PNG so it supports transparency. Hit enter. And in just a few moments, you should see that a new file pops out and we have our background removed. Awesome. Now I'm pretty sure you can customize how it processes edges and things like that. There's maybe a few options for it, but anyways, it's really powerful and quick. What about something even more powerful? Well, I created a rembg bat file that allows me to drag and drop images onto this bat file and it'll simply remove the background. Simple as that. I'll drag the JPEG onto this bat file. The command prompt will open, close, and now we have the background removed. Simple as is. That's really it. If you find that your images aren't separating properly, just open them in any photo editor. In my case, I'll be using Affinity Photo. Drag the picture in, and all we need to do is just expand the borders. So I'll crop it and expand it outwards as such. Now there's more separation of what the actual target image is in the center and the background. So I can save it and drag and drop it into the remove background bat file. You may think it wouldn't really work with the white background, but there you have it. It worked perfectly. Now that's only really necessary when the subject you're trying to crop out takes up most of the image. For example, something a bit more like this maybe. Let's see what happens. No, it worked pretty well. Maybe more cropped in even. At a certain stage, it should get confused. I was getting this issue with images of products, for example. No, okay. This seems like a good example. There's lots of clutter in this image. Dragging it in, you should see that in just a moment, it spits out something you may not want with different items on the bottom. There's one on the side. We can customize this just with a simple crop. So I'm cropping into whatever object I want to keep. Or of course, if it's skipping out certain objects, we can expand it a little bit and maybe it'll remove just the white background. We'll see. Doing it once more. This time, 
It's removing a few different items, but it's maybe a bit cleaner. Anyways, you get the gist of it. Changing the crop of your images is probably all you need to do in order to fix this little script when it's not working properly. Anyways, if you'd like more information on RemBG, make sure to check the GitHub down in the description below. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!